college football is back and better than ever tomorrow. And I know, I know it's college football season because look who's here. Desmond Howard has gotten up with us early this morning, and that makes me feel good. All right, Des, let's do this. Take us through three matchups that the fans should be excited to see early in the season, starting with Florida State and LSU. Okay, so the Florida State LSU game, don't forget a year ago, Florida State beat LSU in a heartbreaker. I think LSU, they want revenge. Now, you look at our Florida State team, that, that quarterback right there, Jordan Travis, they're trying to put in a bid to be ACC champs and go to the college football playoff. But you're looking at an LSU team, they beat Alabama a year ago. They want to show you that it was not a fluke. L L LSU, FSU, must see TV week one. And then you got Colorado, right? Who's been getting more press than that man right there? Prime, Coach Prime, Deion Sanders, and the Colorado Buffs. Of course, they're stepping up in competition now in the Pac-12. Shador Sanders, the quarterback, Travis Hunter, he can do it all. Going up against a TCU team that a year ago played in the college football national championship, but they only returned 10 starters. What is Sonny Dice going to do this season? Must watch, must see TV, that game right there. And of course, Alabama, Texas, and Tuscaloosa. A year ago, Alabama, they snuck out of Austin with a win because Quinn Ewers, he got hurt in that game. But this man is serious. He's so serious this year, Greeny, that the young man cut off his mullet. <laughs> he, got, he got a little buff, got in the weight room, and he got into and start, start studying some films. So anyway, Quinn Ewers is back. He is Xavier Worthy. They have some weapons. You know, this is a really, really big year for the head coach, Steve Sarkeesian. So Alabama versus Texas and Tuscaloosa must see TV. You saw Bama's only a seven-point favorite in that game, and I say only because we're so accustomed to seeing Nick Saban is a three-touchdown favorite almost every week. Look, as I've been starting to get myself ready for this season, I feel like Bama's flying a little bit under the radar considering what they are. Is Bama, what's the word I'm looking for, is Bama being overlooked as this season begins, Desmond? Well, you know, the problem, Greeny, is that Georgia has supplanted Alabama right now. So people are thinking Georgia, Georgia, Georgia. Don't forget, Alabama just lost their uh, Heisman Trophy winning quarterback to Bryce Young. So now they're trying to replace him in the most important position in football. But Nick Saban, they do a tremendous job recruiting. He's an excellent coach, the best we've ever seen. I'm not overlooking Alabama. I think they're going to come into the 2023 season with a chip on their shoulder, and they're going to be out to make a point. Every game is going to be a statement game for Alabama. So I'm not overlooking Alabama, and I can't wait to see them play Texas in Tuscaloosa. I'm with you. That's a fascinating game. All right, obviously everyone associates Desmond with a Heisman Trophy. Heading into this season, USC quarterback Caleb Williams will be looking to join Archie Griffin as the only players ever to win the Heisman twice, uh, twice and according to Caesars, he is currently the favorite to do that. We will see them in their season opener tomorrow against San Jose State. So, look, Desmond, no one knows this better than you do about the history of the Heisman. Are we looking at the second player ever to win it? What do you think? Greeny, he has the talent to do it. I mean, this kid, he when you watch him play, he reminds you of a Patrick Mahomes type guy. Great angles with uh, his throws. He can change arm angles. He's great off platform, impromptu plays, but it's such a huge target on his back. Now, don't forget, now that he's won the Heisman, he can make everybody season, meaning to beat USC or to just shut him down. So now mm -hmm. there's going to be a tremendous effort to stop him every time he steps on the field. Now defensive coordinators, they have much more game film. They know how they want to. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.